Right. Hello, everyone. Yeah, oh God, that's a, a lot better. Um, without that aircon, what am I saying? Yeah, welcome to uh, to another video. And uh, I um, I did a, a video ages ago when I was spreading MOP or TSP uh, with a spreader, and the audio went really stupid and annoying on it. And uh, I tried to show you how how the first spreader kind of worked a little bit, and it completely failed because sound was really annoying. And uh, yeah, I thought. I, I, I thought I'll upload it anyway, but uh, it's not. It wasn't that great. So um, yeah, here we are. We are um, spreading nitram on winter wheat. This is the final application, um, and yeah, so I'd, I'd take you through a little bit about uh, how it all works. So. This is soil variable rate, uh, turn it up, choose your field, and we, we do this all on the computer, so it's all ready to go. Um, I didn't really explain that when I picked it up, but here we are, uh, hang on, let's get nice and close. There we are, top corner of this field. Uh, so come into the field, choose your field, uh, should have the total tonnage, etc. First spreader wise, pretty confident it got set up uh, nicely, so I won't go out and check that. Um, but we'll switch her on, which is that one. And this is like a, oh, what are they, ZATS um, section control, all, all the bells and whistles. Um, what, I sh what I should have done is cleared like the fields off it, which I'll do now. Get rid of that. And this, this is how like the GPS works. So uh, you've got to make sure that's on on auto then you've got your headland management so i'm going this way around because the sprayer goes the other way around so i'm always go against him so choosing to go up against the hedge which is the middle option on this and yeah got the settings for night tram for the 24 meters we're spreading at um put the fent in like field mode so gear one sort of thing uh, on driving on the stick and in auto four wheel drive, and that's us ready to go. So simple as just come back a little bit more so we get it nicely into the corners. As there we go, flicker on that's a that's like your auto section, but you can use this as basically like an on off. Um, so that's us going here. down so there we're going 14k and yeah back yeah I've got a few fields left to do um, on the home farm I probably put out a video a very weird video of me driving down the road just talking uh, utter nonsense basically um, I just felt like making a video so there we go in quite a quite a jolly mood and yeah, oh, I keep getting this warning come up, which is fine. It's fine. Um, so yeah, when you come back, it shuts itself off. And then at the corners, I've just learned to, because I then reverse back up into the corner. Like so. If I didn't, it would start spreading, and then it would do weird stuff in the corner. But as I turn it off, it's fine. So back up in the corner. Simple as that. There we go. Um, main things to check are your rate on here is the same as what the iPad's telling you. And also on here to make sure you're spreading this like this blue. Um, because if you're not, then your like auto section control won't work. And when you come on these, these sort of um, angled headlands and stuff, then the spreader will just spread everywhere and to completely defeat the object of, of what it was trying to do. So. Uh, that's basically that really. Um, down here, it's quite good timing to the video. We've got this this bit, this is the X Spud field, and this was unbelievably wet down here. Um, so it's being cultivated and uh, then it'll be planted for wild bird mix. So there's a Massey up in the crop, just casual. Uh, but he's just been down here with the sumo. He'll have ploughed it and then um, sumo, and then 
It will be combi drilled with uh, wild bird mix. So, um, but yeah, that was that was unbelievably wet. Um, and you can you can tell which fields are ex spud fields because when you go along the top and bottom headlands, you're like it's constantly like ridgy. As much as as the plough and um, and the drill can do at keeping it nice and level, it's just it's just yeah, it's just not as not not what it is after like a normal after a rake or something. Like you watch the tractor now, just it's kind of it's just the ridges. Um, there you go. That's that is where we're at, basically. Um, and that is kind of fur spreading. So yeah, just everyone does things differently. And um, as, as you have seen in my other video on fur spreading, we go kind of further down into the headlands on the main runs. Um, I'll show you in a minute, but basically, yeah, to stop, sometimes at the end you get like a weird pattern of where it hasn't spread. Um, so to avoid that, the guy before me has tampered with the settings. Um, and so it's like you just keep driving into the crop a bit further than you, you normally would and how Amazon have set it, um, how Amazon have like set it up as. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully you get the evenness right the way up to the headland. Um, someone asked about that in that video, so that's that's basically why um, it's the settings have been changed in there is is one reason. So instead of um, how can I explain it? Instead of stopping, say here, it stops here. So it's like an extra two meters, I think it is, um, which just co covers off that bit right up against the top headland. Um, and yeah, make sure that it's nice and even. You're not you're not seeing any variation, um, basically. But yeah, nice, just nice bit of fur spreading, really. Very nice to get back on this job after destoning because although you are you feel like you're doing stuff with destoning at the same time you're in a field for like a, a day and it's kind of like the same with spud spud harvesting. Whereas here you're just cracking on with the acres getting things done um, which is very nice so um, what else can I show you so we, we've obviously we've gone all the way around the headland um, and now I'm gonna take it off headland mode so now it's just on can just go and uh, I'm not gonna remember which way I went around this field which I am fairly certain I've gone down and then up. So here we go. So yeah, on auto section control and you'll see it come on. There we go, starts coming across. There we go, like that. And then, so when you're there, and cause it's like slightly overlapping on the outside headland, it's not spreading. It's very clever. Um, pretty, pretty simple to operate. Um, and yeah, you can, you can crack on. So it's not nice, particularly nice. Today is not that nice a day. Um, but generally when you're out spreading, some of the days it's like beautiful. You can come in at half six, quarter past six, something in this nice and light. Um, and like just, oh, the su sunrise, best part of the day. It's definitely, so um, that is that really. Um, but yeah, this is final application and it will that's it really that's what i'm saying can't remember what i'm saying oh yeah it's still got it's still got t2 and potentially t3 but otherwise that that's it for this crop until it's uh until harvest really so that's what i mean by going further on ahead um and most people are most people are like what are you doing and i bet most most farmers coming from past the road are like bloody driving in the crop and all that sort of thing but um, yeah that's what it is we've got a nice nice bank of land up there as well so uh, that's all we spread that on Monday or Tuesday yeah Monday night and Tuesday morning I did that 
Hopefully I'm not moving my head too quickly for you all. But I'm, I, I might bring you some videos from um, from the workshop. Actually, I'm not, to be fair, the video ideas on this channel have not been that original and we're gonna continue with that uh, unoriginality based on um, one channel you should really check out, which you probably already know about, is Farming Life For Me, or it's this is Farming Life For Me. Um, and he does like a, a weekly update, what, um, what's he call it, a, life, a week on the farm, or this week on the farm. And he, he just includes, he just includes stuff. Um, just stuff in the workshop, interesting things. There's Matt Coates, come back from all end. He waved at me, but I didn't wave back. I feel guilty. Hello. Let's put our beacons on for him. He doesn't see. Um, yes. Uh, goodness me, I, I am today. These videos, these two I've done on the road and this one, which won't come out on the same day, but have been utter nonsense. So I, I, I apologise. Anyway, um, it's a farming life for me. Yeah. So he does these weekly videos. Um, they're usually like 25 to 30 minutes long and just includes bits, clips of, you know, some of the days in the week, not all the days, um, of what, what he does on the farm. But it's quite interesting because you pick up, I picked up little tips and tricks from his videos that say you, you don't get from just watching a video of someone sat in a tractor because ultimately, you know, everyone's, or probably I'd say most people are capable of just hopping, of getting in a tractor and after a while they know what they're doing. But it's like the little tips and tricks of, I don't know, maybe how you fill up a furt spreader or I'm interested in how often people um, wash their furt spreaders because, you know, if you, I think, I, I feel like if you wash it too often, then, um, you know, so there's a guy on Instagram, I won't say his name, but uh, washes his spreader literally every, every after every day of his applications and you just think getting it wet and constantly wet for like the electronics or um, maybe maybe I can't remember what spreader he's got but it might not affect it but say on here like the electronic motors and stuff constantly getting them wet and dry can't be doing them much good um, equally you don't want to leave it too long um, that the the fertilizers corrode in the metal so Although we oil and diesel, well I oil and diesel it up to avoid that, after a while of spreading um, it's going to be affected by it so yeah keen on little, little things like that and just things he's done in the workshop but he's very um, very good channel to watch and I might do a few things in the workshop. That, that was my whole point which I, I, I've only just getting to after like five minutes. Um, was basically that I might do some stuff in the workshop um, and film things and just general little things on the farm, not necessarily just the, the big jobs as such, driving kits, um, but also some of the, the smaller stuff that people might find interesting too. So, um, yeah. I, uh, I think, well, one of our last pass on this field, it's a field called U Tree and it is 3.81 hectares, but we don't have the bird mix bit in with it, so it's not quite that. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll end the video there. So thank you very much for watching. And it's been a bit random, but if you've got any questions about anything, or if you've got any thoughts on the videos, um, then let me know. And uh, yeah, <laughs> apologize again that it's, uh, it's a bit of a random, chat really but yeah that's uh that's just done i might as well you show you the finished field or I, I think i did in the last one turn the discs off simple as just touch it once um the the soil ice soil thing you can record stuff on here oh i forgot to delete it off the last one ignore that ignore that ah <coughs> we'll just put in a rough amount. I don't usually do this, obviously. Promise. But yeah, it's not it's not that important. But um yeah generally like I've I've zeroed it now. So on the next field I know exactly how much I've spread so I can put it down and then it goes off to some clever people and they do stuff with it. 
Um, and yeah, that is my video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you again in another one. Goodbye.